the primary use case for Caspa being payments, microtransactions, and general blockchain applications. We have seen the price of Caspa itself not perform very well on a technical level over the past, uh, you know, 12 to 24 months, especially versus Bitcoin. But ultimately, because it's block DAG structure means that it can handle huge amounts of throughput very, very efficiently, it will be very useful for microtransactions where Bitcoin's use case has developed to be more like a store or a form of digital gold. It's not actually the best for microtransactions and maybe Caspa can fill that gap. Again, everyone or a lot of people describe Caspa as the silver to Bitcoin's gold and perhaps it has that use case, especially if it can be uh, quicker and more cost effective than other layer one solutions like Solana or Ethereum to be that kind of microtransaction processing layer. Okay. Primary use case for BitTensor obviously being that decentralized AI model training and compute marketplace. I see this as more of, you know, uh, you know, a startup ecosystem where you can be a VC and invest in these uh, high quality AI startups, 128 of them competing in that marketplace right now. And obviously, um, the Tau utility needed to stake your Tau in in exchange for those subnet alpha tokens when you're backing or taking a stake in those AI startups is the power of that primary use case.